I have fewer obligations in May. Oh, are we downloading now? Yeah. Uh -huh. Is that true? I don't know, it feels true. Because I'm literally doing nothing but watching the trial. <laughs> May is upon us. Actually, May has like already been upon us and I'm very late with my TBR video. Um, but here we are, we're doing it. Here's the list of things I'm gonna read in May. Still remains the list of things that I'm going to read in May because I haven't read anything in May yet because I've been knee deep in watching the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. <laughs> Luckily, I kind of arranged things in my life for May to be like not really on purpose, but like I ended up with a slightly chiller May. Thank goodness, because I don't, I think that even is too much for me in May because I'm literally doing nothing but watching the trial. <laughs> but anyway, um, I do have some obligations. As I mentioned in the beginning of the year, my TBRs this year are in theory only books that I have an obligation to read. And then I may read other things in that month, um, but I'm not like filling other slots on my TBR. It's only things that I have an obligation to read. So I have fewer obligations in May. First up, I'm gonna do the book that I don't have a physical copy of, so I don't forget it, and that is Legends and Lattes by, oh, I don't even know who it's by. I think I got my Kindle copy already. Just look on here. Refresh, motherfucker. No new items? Bullshit. Oh, are we downloading now? Yeah. Uh-huh. Anyway, it's by Travis Baldry. It's by Travis. I don't know why I assumed it was about a fe it was by a female. That's, uh, that's my fault for assuming that. I showing my ass. Anyway, Legends and Lattes by, I already forgot, by Travis Baldry is the book that my patrons have decided they want me to read and review and vlog for them. I do not know why they want me to read this book, but they do, and so I must. Luckily, I think it's pretty short, um, but I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Next up is a book that is the first in a series that uh, I and my patrons are going to be reading through month by month for the next four, well, next four months, including May. That is The Grace of Kings and the Dandelion Dynasty? Dandelion Dynasty. Um, I've heard really, really, really good things about Grace of Kings. Well, that is to say, I have heard some mixed things, but from people who I often agree with, or we often have similar tastes, or at least in terms of what they got out of this book sounds like it's similar to the type of reading experience that I enjoy. I've heard very encouraging things, which is why I took the bold step of putting the entire series as an option for a buddy read on my uh, Discord, because um, it is committing to four months of reading. If it is, I guess if it's truly, truly terrible, we all hate it. I guess we can like veto that. <laughs> but right now the plan is to read this in May and then book two in June, book three in um, July. That comes after June. <laughs> book four in August. So I am excited. These are Chongi books. This is perhaps my biggest commitment this month. Is that true? I don't know. It feels true. Um. So yeah, I am excited, but a little bit nervous, but I am mostly excited to read this. Next up is a book that I had never heard of before. Um. Never, like, what can I say? Yeah. Never heard of pretty much encompasses everything that <laughs> has to do with the book. But anyway, I'll be buddy reading this um, with Elle from Elliot Brooks and Jesse from Jesse May, and that is 12 Kings in Sherakai. So I got myself this very floppy paperback and I'll be reading it with the ladies. And I am dismayed by how small the print is. <laughs> it's a really long book. It's like almost 600 pages and the print is pretty small. So I'm just kidding. This is my biggest commitment <laughs> this month. Uh, I'm excited to buddy read it with them, um, even though I've never heard of it until they wanted to to buddy read it. So hopefully it's good. <laughs> Next up is a book that I am incredibly excited about. Uh, it's one of my most anticipated releases for the year and I was lucky enough to get an e-arc and a physical arc. And I'll be buddy reading this with Alan from the Library of Alexandria because ever since I made him read Blackwing, he has also become a fan of Ed McDonald. And that book is The Daughter of Red Winter by Ed McDonald. I am so, so excited to have this arc. Yeah. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm very, very excited. And I'm excited to read it with Alan because Alan and I, if there's one thing we agree on, um, it is that Ed McDonald's books are great and that we like, that we're excited to read this. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm just extremely excited for this. This is not my biggest commitment this, mo this month. This is the thing I'm probably the most excited for in May. Oh, and if you do not have an ARC copy, um, the book, the publication date for the book is in June of 2022. So not too much longer to wait. And I've pre-ordered every edition that there is basically. Uh, next up is um, a mini read-along, uh, conclusion to that mini read-along. I mentioned 
uh, and have talked about how I reread Angela's Ashes with some folks in my Discord, reread Tiz with some folks in my Discord, and then I've never actually read Teacher Man, which is the sort of like end of this trilogy, if you will, but these are just memoirs from Frank McCourt's life. So this is um, a later part of his life. Angela's Ashes, one of my favorite books of all time, is about his childhood. Tiz, um, like less favorite, but still excellent, is about when he's a young man in America. And then Teacher Man, from the title, as you could guess, is about uh, the years that he was a teacher. Uh, this is, I think, shorter than the other two. Um, but I've never read this. I've read Angela's Ashes and Tiz twice now, but I've never read Teacher Man, so I'm really excited to read this. And um, yeah, and if you've never read anything by Frank McCourt, you're missing out. You're really missing out. The next two I'll do together, uh, because as you should know by now, my rule for myself is that my Book of the Month Club books will be read in the subsequent month to keep me from falling behind. April's Books of the Month um, that I am requiring myself to read in May are Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Gar Garmu? Garmus? Don't know. And Kaikei? Oh, by Vaishnavi Patel? Vaishnavi Patel? Hopefully. Anyway, yeah, these are both extremely different. And I don't remember which one I picked as my book of the month. I think I picked this as my book of the month. This is my add-on. Not that it makes any difference. So this is like mythological retelling fantasy, which honestly, it's kind of like how I say that I like Dark Academia, but in actual fact, I only like The Secret History. I think that I like mythological retellings, but in actual fact, I really only like Madeline Miller's books. Because every time I picked up a mythology retelling, I've hated it if Madeline Miller didn't write it. <laughs> so hopefully this breaks that cycle and I can go back to saying that I like mythology retellings. So this is, this is quite long, which I was, I don't know, I feel like mythology retellings have tended to be pretty short because like the myths are pretty short. So there's only so much you can do to flush that out. But this is pretty long, um, which surprised me when I got it. Cause you like, I guess you could probably look up how long it is before you order it, but I didn't. Anyway, that's that one. And then Lessons in Chemistry is um, cont uh, contemporary-ish or full on contemporary. No, it's, that's what I thought, it's in the sixties. Um, but it's kind of like, I believe it's like just sort of a feminist lit -y, like dramedy type story. Um, and I think that the main female character is a chemist or a chemistry teacher, or maybe I'm wrong about that. Okay, so like she's a, she gets a cooking show and she's teaching women how to cook, which is, that is chemistry. I don't really know. It looked interesting. It looked like something I could have a good time with. And if not, oh well. Uh, next up is the next installment of the Sword of Truth read along, which myself and Bethany have been hosting all year and will continue to host the rest of the year. So we're back to Bethany's channel for this month and we'll be reading Soul of the Fire, the fifth book in the Sword of Truth series, which is, um... Unfortunately, I feel like is one of the more forgettable installments. Like I remember thinking it was fine, but I don't really remember much about it. Whereas like the one we read last month, I distinctly remembered because it was bonkers. And then like Stone of Tears and Faith of the Fallen, I distinctly remember because I really, really enjoyed those. But Blood of the Fold and Soul of the Fire are two that I'm like, I know I read them. <laughs> I don't really remember much about it though. So I guess that's kind of, I'm kind of excited to read it because like, I, I frankly, the only thing I really, really remember about Soul of the Fire is where it ends because that that ending point is significant to where Faith of the Fallen picks up and Faith of the Fallen is a favorite of mine. And since like the Faith of the Fallen has to deal with the ramifications of how this one ends, I remember how this ends. But like that's about like how we get to that point, do not remember. <laughs> so I'm excited to um, be reacquainted with this story that I have completely forgotten. And then last but certainly not least, me and Bethany are also doing a first law read-along, but on the podcast. So in May, we took a month off. We did the trilogy January, February, March, took April off, and now we're doing the standalones for May, June, July. So we are on Best Served Cold by Joe Abercrombie. And this, at some point in time, was my favorite first law book. It is no longer my favorite first law book, um, but it is among my favorites and it is among my favorite standalones. I think it probably still is my favorite standalone, but the heroes has risen in my estimation and is giving it a run for its money. So not sure. Maybe on this third read, I'll decide definitively if this is my favorite standalone or not. You'll just have to tune into the podcast to find out. Now, there are some books that um, I'm still finishing up from April that I didn't finish. So like I do want to finish those in May. They're just not on my TBR because like, my TBR is the only thing that I'm required to read. And um, yeah, so like for example, I did not finish Jane War in April. I, it wasn't even on my TBR, but I started and did not finish uh, View from the Cheap Seats. Anyway, 
these are the books I aim to read, but there may be others. So I guess you'll have to tune in at the end of May to find out what I did read, if I actually read any of this, or if I literally just watched the trial. <laughs> let me know in the comments down below your thoughts and feelings about what I'm about to read. Whatever you want, let me know. I post videos on Saturdays. Are they random times? Well, definitely Saturdays. So like and subscribe. Join my Patreon if you feel so inclined, and I'll see you when I see you.